हाय एवरीवन गुड इवनिंग जय हिंद नमस्कार सस्तिकाल सलाम वालेकुम आई होप यू आर ऑल वेल फाइन हेल्दी सेफ ग्रेट टू हैव यू सो बच्चों आई एम स्टार्टिंग अ लॉट ऑफ प्लेलिस्ट जो मैंने स्टार्टिंग में बनाई थी वन ऑफ देम इज बियॉन्ड द टेक्स्ट बुक्स द अदर इज इन मो बेसिक्स तो इन सब के ऊपर मैं दोबारा से अब काम करना शुरू कर कर चुका हूँ एंड सो दिस इज़ वन ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम विच आई हैव बिन आस्किंग माई स्टूडेंट्स लेटली इन ऑल आर बैचेज जितने भी हमारे बैचेज हैं तो बहुत सारा बहुत अच्छा लगा बच्चों को ये एंड ये देख कर ये समझ कर ये वाला प्रॉब्लम देख कर एंड आई थॉट आई वो टेक दिस टू द यूट्यूब यूट्यूब ऑडियंस इज वेल सो ज़रूर देख के बताना किस तरह का ये वीडियो लगा तुम्हें एंड कितना मज़ा आया कितना सीखने को मिला एंड सेकेंडली सेकेंडली दिस इज पार्ट वन दिस इज पार्ट वन तो इस इस वीडियो के अंदर सेशन के अंदर वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डू इज आई एम गोइंग टू ओनली टेल यू सर्टन थिंग which might be wrong right so the claim is all triangles are isosceles this is this is clearly a false claim theek hai aisa nahi hota hame pata hai ki duniya ke andar bahut sare aise triangles hain jo isosceles nahi hai but again main fir bhi soch tumhe tumhe geometrically prove karke dikhaunga that all triangles are isosceles okay number 2 since i have discussed this problem uh, यू नो इन सम ऑफ हर बैचेस और मैंने सोल्यूशन भी बता दिए तो अगर कोई बैच का यहाँ पे स्टूडेंट है तो प्लीज लाइफ के अंदर अभी कमेंट मत करना लेट अदर्स थिंक अबाउट इट एंड इट्स अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल प्रॉब्लम इट्स अ वेरी यू नो सोचने वाला प्रॉब्लम है एंड मे बी यू कैन कमेंट लेटर इन दी फॉर्म ऑफ कमेंट्स कमेंट्स के अंदर तुम बता सकते हो एंड जो बच्चे अभी देख रहे हैं बाद में देखेंगे इसको तो इसका सोल्यूशन कमेंट के अंदर जरूर बताना बाद बाद में ठीक है तो ये बट दिस इज सच अ ब्यूटिफुल प्रॉब्लम and a lot of my students enjoyed it when uh, i discussed uh, this problem with them in the class so let's start uh, these are the upcoming batches so hamare upcoming number jo batches hain september mein october mein november mein yo launch karne wale hain wo already taiyar hain announcement hona baki hai but i thought i would tell a lot of you because a lot of parents and students have been asking me over telegram so we are starting with level 4 level 5 level 6 level 7 calculus full math mastery 2026 and games and logic uh, this is a new course which is coming up okay and october ke andar i said 2025 october ke andar i said 2025 and november ke andar 5 6 coordinate geometry and games and logic and uh, november ke andar uh, level 8 For 2025, ISI 2025 and Inmo batch, uh, uh, जो बच्चे आर एम ओ क्वालिफाई करेंगे उसका इनमो बैच विल बी लॉन्चिंग इन नवंबर और एट सो एंड ऑल्सो थ्री ऑफ अर स्टूडेंट्स हैव मेड इट टू शारिक एंड राउंड टू अरात्र इकबाल इज सेकेंड डिप्लोमा सयात एंड मजूमदार इज थर्ड डिप्लोमा एंड देवर्च एंड इज अगेन थर्ड डिप्लोमा एंड वी आर सो प्राउड ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी वन Right, so Pranav Chaudhary is here. Pranav Chaudhary is also sharing in uh, round two. He is retired now. He will be soon joining, you know, the college of of uh, some of the esteemed scientists and mathematicians, best scientists and mathematicians the world has given to us, Oxford. All right. So those who want to get in touch with me can can uh, can uh, connect with me at this Telegram ID at the rate Abhay eighty six Mahajan. All right. All right. and those who are new to this channel make sure to subscribe to this particular channel theek hai chalo ji so the claim is all triangles are isosceles the claim is all triangles are isosceles one second guys okay The claim is all the triangles are isosceles, and with some geometrical uh, uh, claims and uh, arguments, I am going to prove that all the triangles are isosceles. Let's see how do I prove this. Okay, now before I start, these are the two things. These are very important things. जो तुम्हें पता होने चाहिए as soon as you see these. So any point on the perpendicular bisector is equidistant from the two end points. So this is very obvious, and uh, and it can be easily proved also. So if there are two points. Let's say A and B, and if you draw perpendicular bisector of A and B, perpendicular bisector of A and B. So this is the perpendicular bisector of A and B, 90 degrees. 
So any point on the perpendicular bisector is equidistant from A and B both. Okay, because these two triangles are going to be congruent and uh, these two these two uh, lengths are going to be equal. So any point on the perpendicular bisector is equidistant from the two endpoints. Very obvious. The second point is the second point is any point on the angle bisector is equidistant from both the sides, and this is also a very obvious thing. So if uh, you have an angle. And if you draw the angle bisector, if you draw the angle bisector, so this is the angle bisector. So if you take any point, let's say P, the distance of the P from the two sides, when I say distance, I mean the perpendicular distance is always the same. This side is always equal to this side. And this can be easily proved again with the fact that these two triangles are going to be congruent to each other. So these two triangles are congruent. So any point in angle bisector, its distance, perpendicular distance, perpendicular distance is going to be the same perpendicular distance from the two sides is going to be the same right so these are the two important points and you should remember always uh, these uh, important points okay so jo hamara claim hai wo prove ho raha hai in two points ke basis pe hi so let's see so let's see guys this is a triangle and i am going to prove that this triangle is going to be isosceles by some geometric arguments right so this is a triangle abc does it look isosceles to you to maine jaan mujh ke koshish ye ki hai ki isosceles nahi dikh raha hai but main fir bhi koshish karunga इसको आइसोसलेस प्रूफ करने के राइट सो दिस इज द ट्राइंगल एबीसी सो व्हाट वी डू इज द फर्स्ट थिंग इज वी ड्रॉ द परपेंडिकुलर बाइसेक्टर ऑफ बीसी सो हम क्या करते हैं बीसी का परपेंडिकुलर बाइसेक्टर ड्रॉ करते हैं सो दिस लेंथ इज इक्वल टू दिस लेंथ एंड दिस इज 90 डिग्री लेट्स सो दिस पॉइंट इज डी सो वी ड्रॉ द परपेंडिकुलर बाइसेक्टर ऑफ बीसी नाउ अगेन द थिंग इज वी विल बी यूजिंग वन दीस थिंग्स एनी पॉइंट ऑन द परपेंडिकुलर बाइसेक्टर इज गोइंग टू बी इक्वल डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम बोथ द साइड्स दैट इज इफ देयर इज अ पॉइंट हियर This distance is going to be equal to this distance. This distance is going to be equal to this distance. This distance is going to be equal to this distance. This distance is going to be equal to this distance. Okay. So any point on the perpendicular bisector is going to be equidistant from B and C. Uh, be very clear about this. Next is we draw the angle internal angle bisector from A. So this is the internal angle bisector from A. Perpendicular bisector, internal angle bisector from A. So internal angle bisector का property फिर remember any point on the internal angle bisector is going to be equidistant from both the sides. So यहाँ पे कोई भी point आ जाए it is going to be equidistant from both the sides. कोई भी point आ जाए it is going to be equidistant from both the sides. Any point here is going to be equidistant if if we draw the perpendicular from both the sides. Any point is going to be equidistant from both the sides. Okay, so any point on the angle bisector is going to be equidistant from both the sides. Now, see, let the angle bisector, let the internal angle bisector and perpendicular bisector of BC meet at point P. So let this be the point of intersection, right? So this is the perpendicular bisector, perpendicular bisector. Let's say this is point D, ninety degrees, and this is the internal angle bisector. Let them meet at point P. Okay, so ye. perpendicular bisector of bc internal angle bisector of uh, angle a they are meeting at point a now the magic starts so now what what we'll do is we are going to do a couple of things one is one is from this point from this point we're going to extend ab and ac ab and ac now from this point <coughs> from this point extend kar diya humne ab aur ac so what we did was we joined pb and pc we joined pb and pc Now, since P lies on perpendicular bisector, since P lies on perpendicular bisector, PB will be equal to PC. PB will be equal to PC. So there is no doubt. PB will be equal to PC because why? I will just prove this here. So this is ninety. This is ninety because angle PDB PDC are congruent. Triangle PDB is will be congruent to triangle PDC. PDB and PDC are going to be congruent, and you can see the congruency also. It is uh, very obvious. If you want, I can I can tell you. So BD will be equal to CD because D is the midpoint. DP is equal to DP. It's a common side, and ninety degrees is equal to ninety degrees. 90 is equal 90, so it is SAS. So SAS congruent and hence BP is equal to PC. No doubt about it. Now the other thing that we do is from same point we draw, from the same point we draw the 
perpendiculars to AB and AC extended. So we draw PM perpendicular to, so PM, so PM is perpendicular to AB and PN is perpendicular to AC. Also, the fact that P lies on the angle bisector, okay, so we already have, we already have PB is equal to PC. PM is perpendicular to AB and PN is perpendicular to AC. Okay, PM, AB ke perpendicular hai, PN, AC ke perpendicular hai. Can I also say PM will be equal to PN? PM will be equal to PN. And what is the proof of this claim? The fact that triangle APM and APN are congruent. Triangle APM is congruent to triangle APN. And uh, of course, this is something that we discussed at the start also. Any point on the angle bisector is equidistant from both uh, the sides. But here, say, aram se prove ho because this angle is equal to this angle. So, A by 2 is equal to A by 2. Uh, AP is equal to AP. AP is equal to AP. And uh, what is the third side? Third thing. AP is equal to AP. A by 2 is equal to A by 2. And... Uh, a by 2, A by 2, AP, AP and 90, 90. 90 angle is equal to 90 degrees angle. So by RHS, RHS, these two triangles are congruent to each other. Hence, PM is equal to PM. Hence, PM is equal to PM. Okay. Now see guys, now here the magic starts here. So magic is, let's say this is the triangle ABC. Let's say this side is C, this side is B. This side is C. And uh, right, so A, B, C, and this is B. This is B. Now, fact that triangle A, P, M, triangle A, P, M, and A, P, N are congruent to each other. Can I say this also says A, M is equal to A, N by C, P, C, T. A, M or A, N be congruent hai. A, M will be equal to A, N because triangle A, P, M, and triangle A, P, N are congruent to each other. Hence, A, M is equal to A. N. Let's say this length is X and let's say this length is Y. This length is x and this length is y. Now see guys, see guys, can we also say, can we also say these two triangles are congruent to each other? Triangle PBM, triangle PBM is congruent to triangle PCN. Triangle PBM and PCN are congruent to each other. How? PB is equal to PC, we have already proved. PM is equal to Pn, we already proved, and 90 is equal to 90. 90 is equal to 90, right? So hypotenuse are equal 90 degrees, and so RHS, RHS, these two triangles are congruent, hence BM is equal to CM, BM is equal to CN, and hence X is equal to Y. Also, since AM is equal to AN, AM is equal to AN, so can I say AM is equal to AN? C plus X is B plus Y. C plus X is B plus Y. C plus X is B plus Y. And since X is equal to Y, we can cancel X plus Y. We get B is equal to C. And this is such a shocking result. This is such a shocking result. We have proved that any triangle in the world, in the universe is going to be isosceles. Any triangle in the world, in the universe, is isosceles with this argument. This whole argument is given on this page. Ke upar diya hua hai. Okay? Okay? <laughs> let me, let me repeat this again. Let me repeat this again. I will try to repeat this again. Ki koshish karta Internal angle bisector, and this is the perpendicular bisector. Internal angle bisector and this is the perpendicular bisector. Okay, internal angle bisector, perpendicular bisector. They are meeting at point P. Since P lies on the perpendicular bisector, PB will be equal to PC. Since P lies on the angle bisector, PM is equal to PN. PM or PN barabar honge. Ab jaise PB or PC barabar hai, PM or PN barabar hai, there are two sets of congruent triangles which we can see. One is PBM and PCN. So these two are congruent. So that means X is equal to Y. First thing. Also, APM and APN are congruent. That means C plus X is equal to B plus Y. So, C plus X is B plus Y. X is equal to Y. Hence, B is equal to C. Proving that. 
proving that proving that the triangles are congruent to each other now your job so I, as i said this is this is part 1 this is part 1 of uh, the session i'm doing on the same problem right so i don't want to discuss this uh, the solution to this and what is wrong in this uh, in this particular session because i want to give you time otherwise it would not make any sense so i will i will come back with another solution another session with the same with the solution of this problem but again tumhe tab tak sochna hai ki what is wrong what is wrong in this particular page of course this is not true all triangles are not isosceles this is the wrong claim so what is wrong here what is wrong here? A lot of students are saying this is a wrong diagram. But again, you need to prove why is this a wrong diagram geometrically. Uh, there are a lot of algebra things, uh, you know, which are wrong and which can be done right. For example, proving 2 is equal to 3 if we cancel 0 with 0. But uh, geometry may say there are a lot of questions some questions hai, jo, jo is ke hote hai, wherein you have to find the wrong things. And this is one of the ways to improve geometry, guys. Right? So, Adit Agarwal is also here. Hi, Adit. How are you? <coughs> All right, so we, we already have two in more bodies who, who, are, uh, who are watching this session live. Right, so, so guys, your job, your job to prove, uh, to, to, is to know that what is wrong. And again, uh, I'm not going to discuss uh, this in this particular session, as I said. Put that in the comments. Okay, so if you are able to see what is wrong in this, because all triangles are not isosceles, this is something that we already know. You have to put that in the comment and prove also that what why is that wrong right so you have to prove that why is that wrong as well <clears throat> okay all right so i hope uh, you've enjoyed uh, uh, this particular uh, session in this particular question and again isko sab solve karoge isko jab geometrically dekhoge sochoge you will learn a lot of things you will learn a lot of things about geometry which otherwise uh, you you tend to take very obviously right so uh, I hope you work on this problem and uh, definitely I'll come out with another session with the solution of this particular problem. Uh, until then, uh, if at all you tend to find the mistake, please let me know what is the mistake. These are the upcoming batches in September that we are launching in Vedanta Olympiad schools. We are launching new batches for level 4, level 5, level 6, level 7. Calculus, we are launching full math mastery 26. We are launching uh, games and logic. This is a unique course. First time we are launching. And uh, every session we'll be discussing a games problem with strategies, right? So it's a, and it is open for everyone, not only for the students, open for everyone who is a math enthusiast. October, we're launching 2025, ISI, level 5, level 6, coordinate geometry, uh, games and logic again. And November, level 8, ISI 2025 and in more batch is something that we are going to launch. Okay. Okay. Hope you've enjoyed the session. Keep liking, keep sharing. And this is our mission to win gold for India.